Hello, ladies and gents, I'm your man Clyde Williamson and here to kick off another season of FIFA Football European International Cup play here between QPR, Queen's Park Rangers and Legia Wazazawa, whatever name of whatever club of whatever city that was taken over by the Nazis, who gives a fuck about that team? We are here for QPR. And what we have is actually the first time in a while a team that has been struggling, a club that's been struggling to have themselves quite the prospect as of late. It is an American, ironically, for this team. It is 15-year-old center attacking mid Josh Smith. Josh Smythe, as some of us would prefer to call him by the proper name and pronunciation. It is European International Cup play. It's been sloppy at the beginning, something not to be surprised of. The only thing QPR, as of late, has been known for is infamously giving up the game, or not even the game-winning goal, but the, the, game, well, the league-winning goal against one of Sergio Aguero of Manchester City in what became a sour night, a sour day for Manchester United, a team that really, that's the closest they had been since to winning EPL play. QPR sadly has found themselves in the EFL since uh, setting up for this team. You got the likes of a uh, Josh Gowen at centre attack or centre defensive mid. You got the speedy Osawe Samoa doing quite well I have to say he's playing in pretty good form as of late Smith however in just a couple of the minutes that we have seen this lad just coming in he's only played about roughly 60 minutes in debut we'll have to see if he plays any better his passing has been a little bit down we're gonna have to see exactly where that goes for the rest of the match but this QPR team doing doing decently well as of late they're in position with this if they do get a win they will make their way down to knockout stages of the international cup it's not the best of competition but but indeed it would be a step up for their recent performances over the years bad play you got to get rid of the ball smith a boy that we're gonna have to be expecting to play at the best of form for this QPR team to really try to make their way this season to get into EPL play again with promotion we know how the EFL works it's one of the it's one of the craziest things in all of football especially English football is to where the top two teams of EPL play throughout the season and I believe it is 46 matches long long season and that was a terrible long long pass that was long to watch terrible play but the likes of this QPR team is that you have to get to the top two if not the beauty of the EFL oh, be oh nice move but a terrible choice in the pass but it will be sent in our away and a miss for QPR uh, well actually blocked in the play also away it will be Smith shooting the corner for QPR here in the 19th minute approaching the 20th minute now here against Legia sounds like a vag vag vaginal virus indeed and the team QPR is actually playing like a virus themselves oh beautiful setup it's gonna be a shot in great save by the keeper of Legia it's gonna be another corner here at the end of the 21st minute for this team Smith again setting up us away with a bit and he kicks it oh terrible terrible shot you can see it and the managers mannerisms just not just not really the most pristine of starts for this QPR team they are getting chances so far compared to a Legia but it just doesn't seem like they're doing much with it you just hope that the way they've started off this game they haven't gotten rid of what could be the only chances they get this whole entire match but fortunately enough they are passing the ball a little bit better in the attacking half and what is a quite advantageous header but just not well put on the goal and it's going to be a goal kick passed out to the defender QPR doing well so far still nil nil here in the 26 minute terrible passing in the midfield just but fortunately enough they are playing good making up with their hazard passing for good passing here in the attacking oh beautiful move another quick move will he get it 
And no, it's a goal! KPR! Goal! And the man we were talking about just playing quite sluggish as of late in a beautiful finish right there in the bottom 90 against the keeper. It's going to be 1 0 goal here in the 27th minute for QPR. Has they going to. It's right now as it seems. Oh my. Are they going to find themselves. Oh no. Just not a good pass. This team needs to find themselves passing the ball a lot stronger in the attacking half. They've done better as they have compared to late in the past couple of matches for this team. They had a result in a loss and a draw for this QPR team, but they are moving the ball quite well. And of course, I have to jinx them on that play. Terrible, terrible forward possessive play for this team. You have to be able to move the ball forward, get rid of the ball when needed. And here we go, a chance right here for Legia off the post. And it's going to be, oh, nice save, not off the post, must have been touched by the keeper. And there we go, interception by Smith. They're going to be making their way for a counter attack. Well, there's the speed, he's going to get his man. Oh, is he open? Oh, it's going to be offside. My, 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 if he gets that pass off, you have to imagine it's going to be one of the best chances and one of the easiest chances you're going to see of the day, maybe even of the tournament for this team. Um, Legia not looking quite well for a team that's trying to fight for position as well to get into that second spot for knockout stage of international cup play here in Europe. But QPR playing strong, kind of weakening up their defense a little bit. Terrible challenge. And it's going to be barely off the bar, just above it. Lumley going to be setting up for a goal kick to Osaway Samuel. Nice header. Can he fight forward? And it's going to be a poor touch with the header for this QPR midfielder. I believe it was the likes of Jeff Cameron. It's going to be Legia moving it down the wing. Beautiful footwork by this young lad of Legia. A promising team, a little bit of their own in Polish league play. Again, these are not the strongest of competition between two teams. Not in well form whatsoever, but they are not good just to begin with. Seems like they're in the second league within their, I believe, Legia in the top league in their country. Of course, QPR finds themselves with quite a bit more competition in England in their respective country. And Osaway, he's going to be set up. Beautiful pass. Passing it down to Osaway Samuel. Going to be moved. Maybe a pass in. Dangerous play. Is it going to be in? No. My. Terrible. Terrible dribbling on the attack, but they will get the possession once again. QPR passing it well in the attacking half. Here comes Smith again. Is he going to put it in? Goal! It's going to be touched. Beautiful block by the Legia center defenseman, the fullback on the play for Legia. And it's going to be Legia possession right now, pushing it up the right wing against this weak QPR defense. They've just not been good. It seems like they've given up the ball. Moving towards their third, a, a defensive third, to pretty much put themselves in a poor position. Just kind of seems like a poorest defense, but that appears to be the first half. 1 0 QPR, goal by Smith. Legia down 0 to 1 for this QPR team. Not looking all too strong. I think this has kind of been sort of a, a, a match just lacking quite a bit of quality especially on the quality of the pass as we've seen quite a bit of interceptions, quite a bit of poor touches leading to easy tackles. So far, QPR's defense not doing all too well to hold up. Fortunately enough, the attack has done well passing the ball on Legia's defensive third, but we're gonna have to see how this team does it. Beautiful defensive play for the interception. These small little passes, that was not the right move, but that was the right move. Beautiful pass setting up Smith with the ball now, maybe also away. Samuel gonna get the ball. I see. So there you go. Kane on the edge and a terrible, terrible touch. And there we go. Smith, right there, seems to be man of the match. If it stays as is, and he just doesn't have a complete meltdown for this QPR team, he'll most likely be taken off by the manager of QPR, Queens Park Rangers. 
And nice little touch by Smith setting up a counter attack. It's going to be also, oh, it's going to be advantage given Stoke City. Going to be playing QPR in their first match of EP EFL play English Football League. For you that were not listening at the beginning of the match, EFL play between Stoke City and QPR Queen's Park Rangers. A team that if they do pass the ball a little bit better, a little bit more as what we've seen them in their highlight plays, then we are going to see a QPR team that might be quite exciting this season for EFL play. A team that we're going to be looking for, especially at least for the young, exciting 15-year-old prospect. Oh, terrible pass. And it's going to be Legia Ball moving it down the right wing, back to the middle. Pass to the middle. QPR starting to come down on the player. Beautiful pass, and it's going to be a poor touch. It's just not the best of angles. Smith going to be coming off for the day. Played about 56 minutes, 57 minutes. And my, did he dazzle with that beautiful dribbling set. Oh, no. This could be easily the step that Legia needs to get back in this game. And Lumley, 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 as there is a nice... Hearty applause for the QPR keeper. He has done quite well. I'd have to say if Smith is not man of the match, it's going to be Lumley. And a beautiful save by the defender. Heading save. And there we go. Lesnar, the man of his liking. The German, the old veteran German defender for this team. There you go. SA, not a good pass. Quite the best to Kane right there. And then here we go. He's got his man across. Is it going to be? It's a goal! QPR 2-0. As Legia, you've seen them give up these opportunities. You've seen them give up opportunities of their own. A team that is desperately in need of the win, just like QPR today. However, though, when the going gets tough, the tough get going and appears like it... It totally seems like QPR is taking advantage of the weak defensive play, unlike Legia earlier today. Just the chances Legia has been going against has just not been strong, taking advantage of such. This QPR team has done really well of setting up their teammates. Smith, especially setting up the middle passing game, intermediate passing game for this QPR team, trying to keep possessive play going in the attacking third. And, and honestly, this QPR team, they've earned this game so far as we are approaching the 66 minutes. We're going to see the ball move down. Beautiful play. They're going to push it up. Left wing. Yes, they are. Pew. Oh, pew, pew. There's a sniper in the building. And that is going to be a yellow card for Andre Martins of Legia. Possibly the only Spanish or South American man in Poland. Legia's. Andre Martins with a yellow card here in the 67th minute. It's going to be passed back. Oh, a poor cross for the QPR midfielder, Josh Schoen, I believe. And there we go. Beautiful touch. QPR's gone quite well today of just getting possession back in the attacking half. Taking advantage of poor possessive play by the defenders, the defensive mids. Beautiful interception. Beautiful touches of the ball. QPR is looking strong with the passing. Beautiful move by Eze. Oh, he should have gone. But it is going to be a free kick here in the 70th minute. QPR, who is the kicker? It's going to be Pew, Pew, Pew. The man who was taken out earlier by the yellow card. And let's see where their ball... It's a weak. That's just too easy. That's just... That's schoolyard play. That's the kind of kick you're going to see in YMCA sports. Just nothing going to challenge the keeper on that play. Just really nothing that QPR is just doing at the moment besides just intermittent power. Oh, beautiful play. Also, the speed, the athleticism, the strength isn't going to do well enough to get that ball back, to get possession back, and it's going to be... Legia ball, beautifully done. Eze, I'd like to see between Smith and Eze playing on the field at the same time. Eze can play. Oh, and a poor throw. It's going to be Wells coming in. Is Wells going to do a play? Here we go, Wells. Terrible. Wow. You'd expect the man. I know he's at loan here. Maybe he, I mean, this is going to, on loan, this is the opportunity for you to prove your market worth. A team 
uh, just looking to loan off their players, usually to see if they're going to progress well to put them in the starting lineup for the home squad, home club. But unfortunately, so Wells just doesn't do well. <laughs> no pun intended with that opportunity. It's going to be QPR again. The speed on the outside, but it's a one of the few times we've seen him do poorly on the touch today. He's done really well about sending it back to the teammates. And it honestly, QPR, they I'd have to say the only thing that's led to them today to get this win so easily, and if it holds up, I believe it will. Legia for the most part. And oh, tackle. It's gonna be oh my. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a penalty kick. Here in the 81st minute, and there are a man down, Todd Kane. Oh, you you've got to make a better judgment on that poor play, and here comes the penalty kick off the post. And QPR, it seems like everything is just pushing in their way. I know they have taken advantage of the opportunities compared to Legia, but Legia is not done well. It, this game could easily be 2-2, tied, just leading to QPR losing the chance they did need to win today for them to be able to get to the knockout stage. And they're pushing the ball well on the counter-attack. But it's not going to be all too well, unfortunately. When you do that, you will make a defense prone to a counter-attack themselves. But Lumley, the man's been in form today, playing quite well. Playing aware football, that's what you expect to see from your goalkeeper. If he's going to do well, as a beautiful dribbling moves. Going to pass it to his man, Wells. As a Wells, poor touch, poor pass to his man. And it's going to be a turnover of possession, Legia. Here in the 86th minute, 87th minute now, approaching, trying to make the last minute moves. Beautiful tackle by the QPR defenseman. And there's going to be a ball pushed up. Beautiful ball in to Wells. Will Wells set it up well? Here he goes. Oh, my. I just I believe in that opportunity. You have to try to put the shot on goal. And Jeff Cameron, another American for this QPR team just not just not getting it done on the opportunity for QPR again not like they need to take advantage of it they are in well of position to win today to make it to the knockout stage of the European International Cup but QPR today fortunately enough they pretty much played a team that played worse than them not not them playing better but them playing a team that did quite worse with the Legia not playing up to par as a terrible pass by SA. You're not, it's a rarity as we've seen today. SA has done way too well compared to that play for first touches. And we are on extra time. Three minutes of extra time. Beautiful move right there. Osawe Samuel. And then expecting the final minutes. And that's going to be it. QPR 2-0. Legia knocked out before even the knockout stage. For this team, QPR is going to make their way up. Doing, can't say necessarily well for this. What we saw in this match, it was quite sloppy. Mark Pugh did get the goal today. He did get, drew that foul against Andre Martins. But QPR, I'm going to have to see a lot better from this team. Especially if they're going to try to make some noise in the EFL this season. Leading up to an EPL promotion. Hopefully we will see them fighting for that third spot to where we will see the final four for that third spot. The beautiful magic that is the EFL playoff, promotional playoff, to where f the three through six seeds get to face off for the final spot into the promotion of the EFL or EPL, Premier League, English Premier League, for the English Football League. And there we go, a highlight again of Smith in the 27th minute. Just punches it in. It just You can just see it on his face. He's going to have to work on his skill, his curve. But for the most part, we saw a man just be able to attack right there, finish it, snipe it into the back of the net. And right pretty much the least spot the keeper expected. Goal, QPR, 59th minute. With just beautiful keeping play by Lumley. It just seems that this QPR team got lucky today. Not the best of matches 60 second minute though beautiful teamwork beautiful cross and a beautiful setup Hugh nothing the keeper can do about it that ball screaming in off the volley and and just honestly QPR 
taking advantages were advantage of the opportunities when they could and this Legia team just playing piss poor including Andre Martins and we did see Mr. Kane of QPR give a red card give him give up his roster spot Smith man of the match today compared to Lumley it is that first goal he did pass well at times but we will look at the match stats for today it, it like I said Legia gave this game up more shots more shots on goal uh, possession seemed to be way more in their number I believe it was nearly six to four on the ratio for possession today QPR got away but we're gonna have to see how QPR plays in knockout stage coming up as this Legia team gives it up to QPR so it's beautiful to see Smith come in give it up that it is I believe that is 57 or 59 to 41 or 43 percent possession just Legia if you look at it on paper don't look at the goals Legia wins this game but we'll just have to see as always I'm Clyde Williamson and take care.